what is four countries are the most powerful and they are in the competition to control the world. Now, Hitler wants to control the world. Three people are standing on his way. The United Kingdom, America and Russia. So before he can control the world, he needs to take out these three nations. First, he attacks the United Kingdom. After brutal battle, he won. Now, the next place for him to attack is Russia. Before he can attack Russia, he needs to capture his city, and the name of that city is Pisai. It's not a joke. Hitler needs one of his most trusted and experienced general to carry out this mission. He's no other person but X Man. And so they set out for the mission to capture B side. After make after drawing out their plans and looking at the map, Hitler writes man said he and his troop can get to B-side within four days. A tax that is required to be an impossible tax. But Hitler trusted this man that he can do it. So this man took the troop. It is a strategic point that if you can capture that city, you have captured Russia. And they went on a journey. Even with the rough road and everything, they were able to get to almost get it to B side so the only thing that is before them is a river after crossing the river they will be in this city they constructed a bridge and then they crossed this river to, to the city of russia and when they got there they bombarded the city and they captured it after capturing the city landslide victory for hitler hitler was very happy it was a landslide victory for hitler and the people at home guarded hitler as god for him to capture that city it's just a matter of days before they can capture russia so people were at home were very happy hitler can't believe his luck so now it's time for hitler to go to the city of russia gong 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 he took out his fight us again and say, oh yeah, go. On the 22nd of June, 1941, three and a half million soldiers surge into the Soviet Union as Operation Barbarossa is unleashed. But the only mistake they made was that they did not take cognizance of the weather in Russia. Get to the city of Russia. Go, 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 go. And that's when the Soviets counterattack. But on their way going, it gets to a point that they were fed up. They couldn't go any longer because the, the place everywhere was ice. Everybody was blocked. So at this point, the leader said there is no way they can go any longer because their fighters are very cold. The leader of the soldiers sent a message to Hitler and said, We cannot move any longer. Our soldiers cannot move any longer. We are stuck. Russia getting to know what is happening quickly organized their army and they went to where those uh, people are with plane and warship and tank and everything. They were able to bombard them and bomb all of them. Hitler getting to know this was very sad. Hitler takes it hard. The war in the East is no child's play now. He was like, ah, how can this happen? So Hitler said, it is not over, but it is over. 
So he called the soldiers again. This time, the soldiers have lost their confidence. They were afraid. It's clear that the war will continue. We'll have to return to the front. They were like, if the first people that went would be massacred and destroyed, what is our own fate? For the first time, a doubt crosses their mind. So by this time, their confidence has started reducing. At the end of the day, Russia did not agree. They came again in full force. Battle. It's close range fighting. You can die for a staircase, for one more floor, for a street corner. Russia won. Hitler was like, ah, what is happening? So Hitler mobilized his army once more with planes, with guns, with tanks, with everything in large number to bombard Russia. And when all of them came, trust me, Russia was preparing for them. For the Kursk offensive, he picks the very best fighters and calls on his best planes and most modern tanks. So it was a brutal battle for months. And at the end of the day, guess what? Russia won. By this time, Hitler becomes so worried to the extent that nobody could comfort him except his dog. At the end of the day, when Hitler saw that he has been defeated, he had no any other choice. He went inside and took his own life. He committed suicide. On the 30th of April, Hitler commits suicide. That is after Hitler has killed more than 150. At the end, committed suicide himself. Today, America and Russia are in control of the world, especially America. They conquered Hitler before Hitler conquered the world. The Allies divide up the spoils. The Allies' blindness to the rise of the brown shirts, their lack of coordination. They can overthrow government of any country and nobody can challenge them. In fact, I think America is in control presently because there was a time even Russia and America fought a Cold War. But it was America that won, that won Russia and decimated them and even told them to dissolve their own which is called the Soviet Union. Although Russia too has the power, has power, has nuclear weapons, has everything. But America is still the number one. They are still the superpower, the world power. And that is why we are spending their dollar, we are speaking their language. So today, America is in control of the world. For those of you that are saying that God is in control of the world, well, if I'm the American, if I'm, uh, if I'm the American, of course I will tell you that it's God. But we all know that. We all know who is in control here. It's America. America is in control. <laughs>